Welcome back to Monsalar. Now that we have upgraded the gauntlet, we are going to proceed to break the chains. That voice, Morak, how? Not exactly. This is... Silas. But that's Morath's voice. Silas, they may have taken Morath as a vessel, like they did before. Be prepared. So you're trying to say that Theos is not talking at all. He's using the Morath's he voice to contact to us. Can't believe this is true. So the gods usually do not talk to humans, use humans to talk to us. So what is between Telus and Nor Morath? Some kind of telepathy? This voice was so dark I can't believe my eyes. Just do not get close to Morath's sea is full of strange forces. It could be very dangerous. Could, it, could be he the final boss of the game? The one we attempted to fight at the beginning of the game we couldn't and now would be the time for this. Wow! Gauntlet's power really is a sight to see. We're counting on you. Yes sir, yes lieutenant. Gauntlet's power really is a sight to see. We're counting on you. It's so powerful, we can break chains. Can you believe this? We can break chains with a gauntlet. We're not using sword, no dice, not fire, nothing, just a gauntlet. And we are going to break the sundial, of course. Once we release the chain, the sundial will just explode or something like this. Or just fall down, I don't know. Something to say, Sarge? The loss must tremble. You knew this. How could you know this? I didn't even knew myself uh, if I could do such things. I was just looking for the shards, as you know. Found one, then two, and then the third one. Okay, two chains to break to go. What can you hope to accomplish? Mora, you're being deceived. Thelos is using you! I'm scared! He does not hear you. I'm so scared! Thelos is watching everything I'm doing! Now he's starting to set his foes against me! Yes, charge! Once I eliminate you for your... This will be over. Okay, let's wait a minute. We have a murder here. What are you doing here? You are not supposed to be doing here anything. Really? You're placing now in the middle of everything. I don't know, but I managed to use these active stones and then after this I managed to use the shuttle. But I don't know if, not, if this counts. Maybe it counts, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. What I don't know is that I pressed the button, but having the damage I didn't do this so much. Is on the first active abilities as well, activate the second, then the first one, and then the shatter. But I don't think all that all the abilities will be counting. This one time. Yeah, 
Maybe the damage is shared if you do this way. I don't know for sure. But if you activate the shutter in first place and then the abilities you won't be able to do this in reverse way, it's possible. But I don't know trust on the damage I do. So one chain to go. So what I'm going to think now? Which kind of monster you're going to send me now? Yes, I know you're going to send someone stronger than Marauder. That one Scorpion, big one, Scorpus. I hope you are not sending me no one strong. So we can break the last chain and see what happens to the Sandile. And when the Sandile is broken, there will be a boss there. You will not succeed! I will stop you! I'm so scared! That is the spirit. Just a simple diver. I don't like too much the hammer. The hammer is a very slow weapon. Really slow, slow, very slow, makes me very lazy. Now he sent a trail guard, another colossal enemy. It's not a joke anymore. All the gold depleted to zero. One part is broken, three to go. He's going to fall down. Let's retrieve back. I do not want to, to fall down. Please come back. It would be very unfair battle. I don't know if it will be evil viable because he could fall down and then restart all the battle again. I don't like the thing. The thing is that we have to eliminate all the enemies to be able to cut the chain. If not, I think it wouldn't be fair. This orb, I believe it reduces all your momentum beside of the damage. With this arm I feel very protective, I could receive a lot of damage, just like that. Now the tail remains, we have to do something to get to the tail, because it's too far away even for the whip. So everything is over. Broken. Ah, Gauntlet Bearer, you're finally awake. Uh, what happened? You crushed the chains. The sundial fell. A wave of something rushed over us and knocked you out. Ah. So that explains the pain. Kendra ordered the troops to immediately move into the Black Alms. 
They are preparing for the final attack. I carried you here when I found you unconscious. Thank you, Sarge. I need to follow Kendra and help her. Be careful. The army was not harmed, but I feel a malicious presence from the Sundial. Take this Essence Stone. Whatever is waiting for you up there, it should help you when you are surrounded. Thank you. The losses rates will not stop me now that the goal is within my grasp. Let's not keep the others waiting. Fair fight. Increase your damage for each nearby foe. This one was tested and I can assure you it's not a real big help. There are just a lot of wars behind them. I didn't feel even with the damage really increased. And there is one far away, which we are going to do. I see to the sun, you took down the sundial, but you got knocked out of for a while and the knights have already moved on. Hurry towards the black arms. So we are sleeping or something? Yeah, we sure we are sleeping. We have the crown of our head. And look at the appearance we have now. We look like an eagle, the falcon. I expected a boss here. So I said this ability could be nice if there are a lot of enemies, but push your back if you fight one versus one. so you may reign. No more! This world rejects you! <laughs> I missed your spark, little one. But I am the world. I am its one true god. You are nothing. A remnant of the outdated ideologies. Lost and alone. I am no longer alone. We will finish this. And there we go, we have the Conjurer, Colossal Wraith and Cartridge. This is the worst Colossal Wraith in the entire history. This battle is about constantly dodging and dodging and dodging, there is no other way. If you stay on the fire, they quickly wear out your health. If you are a really good dodger, you could risk on putting too much on, on damage in this battle, but I'm, I'm not going to practice this. This is the second try. I'm going to take the middle side so I accumulate momentum and deliver everything I've got toward the boss as you can see I deliver the maximum damage and it barely hurt him so this makes me believe that the battle would be wrong you have to stay away from the blue platforms you have to stay away from the from all the projectiles, from all the drills, and from all these lasers as well. There are like two kinds of battle. Or you stay away from all the damage, or you try to hit them as fast as you can, but if you try to hit the enemies as fast as you can, usually you fall on something. Behavior in animals are sometimes very passive. They sometimes attack, they sometimes stay away, can't stay close to the boss. And it's not considered a boss, it's just a, a lead 
Colossal Wraith. This one can be blocked, but you, I don't think you can block everything. I didn't try it either. There is one someone there. Now you have to look for this one. This battle is kinda very slow. Very, very slow. Now you have to move to him and deliver the final blows. I don't have nothing. And now he deployed more. It's like the best idea is to keep one animal at least close to him. Something like that. As you can see, he always makes one of his hounds bigger than others. One of them or two are invisible, one is big, and another normal. And the big one is the strongest, I think. Now that he created the floor, the, which is damaging the momentum as well. This fight would be easier they, if the house or his house would be more aggressive and stay close to our position so we can eliminate them quickly. But it's not the case and look how close away. Well level he goes away. It, uh, that uh, makes the boss very, very strong. I'm going to deliver the final damage. To active stones and shatter. Well, maybe half, half damage made. This battle is really, really long battle, I can't believe this. Running and sprinting also works. Yes, step the helms. You can also run away from drills, run away from lasers, but not from the sounds. They can reach you every, every time. So that's it. Let's watch the rest of the battle. It's all about dodging and having patience with the boss. If you keep your momentum, just deliver the momentum only on the boss because he is his health is really, really high, so that's it.
finally defeated. Finally. It took a lot of tries. I mean, a lot of tries in the same try. How many tries you have to have just to approach him and over and over again to deliver these final attacks. And sometimes you cannot deliver them because we do not have enough momentum. I almost eliminated him and then after this the battle went just soft and I couldn't generate the momentum and without momentum his health is barely going to deplete it. Black Arms Road, another achievement completed here called Calm Before the Storm. It is gathered or collected after entering the Black Arms region which we have just in front of us. We talked to old hunter, get inside. Again. You, you're that hunter who gave us the peace. I just hope Solia will be safe. I fear what the knights might do to her. Solia? The queen. She is your master. I understand now. That's why you had the peace. Long has she served Thelos. Did their bidding without showing how much it hurt her. In secret, she helped those who opposed them. Valerie, the knights, and the other god. So she sent caravans near the gauntlet, hoping that eventually someone would pick up the gauntlet's voice. And this someone happened to be you. I'll make sure the knights treat her fairly, but nothing will erase what she did to them. The priest order had more influence than she could ever contain. But Solia, she... She will never walk away from her sins. She wanted you to have this armor. Wear it proudly in the upcoming battle. Maybe we will meet again when all of this is over. Perennial mantle. Opulent yet robust armor made out of steel and gold shaped and joined by the best blacksmiths in the Thestia to protect Talos most devoted priests. So this is the price for the battle. We're going to upgrade it later. First we're going to enter another realm. Called Black Arms. Now we're going to proceed to save the game as soon as possible. I hope it's nearby. The anvil. The Black Arms. Thelos's realm. It has been an eternity since I have seen this. You said the knights went ahead. Yes. I respect their courage. But they will not have a chance against Delos. They won't fight alone. They have us. It's... desolate. This is what a land drained of essence looks like. What are those lights? I am not sure. They emanate a lot of power. Theos is probably using them to protect themselves. So we have to take them out? Most likely. And this probably will not be easy. I also sent someone near the Watcher. I think it's that man, Morath. Theos must have taken control of his mind and soul. I almost pity him. We should get to the Pillars of Light. They are the power source. Let's talk to the knights and see what they found first. So as you can see, this is backward. This could be the final area because we have the biggest symbol and the obelisk of Telos just in front of us and we're almost just beneath it. So this could be the final realm to play and after this there will be a final battle. I suppose we are going to save. Thank you very much, guys. See you later. It appears our efforts were not in vain. The preparations we made were effective. The priests were no match for them. And without the queen... Yes. I hope the knights treat her justly. 